Messala. Judah! <laughs> Messala, it's good to see you. I told you I'd return, Judah. You did indeed. <laughs> Eight years. Eight years since you went away. Bowing to come back a tribute. <laughs> when I heard you'd made good your vow, I drank a toast to you. And we'll drink another now. <laughs> come. Well, how have the years dealt with you? Made you richer? More important or not? And your mother and sisters, the little tears are married? Not yet, Miss Sala. Oh, the shooters march in with gifts. Her nose stays in the air. They march out again, leaving the gifts behind, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and the lion and the jackal, do you still hunt them, or have you become too dignified? You always set a sweet face, Miss Sala. <laughs> The bean. Uh-huh. Down heroes. Up Mars. Down heroes. Up Mars. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't down heroes with much conviction anymore. Met too many charming ladies to go about insulting the god of love. Up Mars is as convincing as ever. Ah, I fought in Britain, Africa, and Spain. I'm eager to hear everything. All of us are. When will you visit us? Soon as possible, but not for several days. I should be occupied preparing for the new governor. Valerius Gratus is coming with two more legions. Then the rumors are true. Yes, the emperor does not approve of your countrymen. There's rebellion in the wind. It will be crushed. But don't you look so concerned. I'm next in authority to the governor, and you're my friend. You're not part of this rebellious rabble. I am a Jew. You have money, position, culture. For such people, the distinction between Roman and Jew need not be too finely drawn. If I've hurt you, Judah, it's only because I want to help you. This is a Roman world. If you want to live in it, you must become part of it. Now, be wise, Judah. It is a Roman world. And a sick world. I hoped you wouldn't be infected. I shouldn't have come. Eight years can warp anyone. I should have known it couldn't be the same. We've traveled different roads. If you'd ever looked beyond the shadow of your temple, you'd have discovered that all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> the time may come again where they will lead elsewhere. Those could be the words of a traitor. Could they? Tribune? Judah! Is it really to end like this? Is it possible to destroy a friendship in a few moments with a few hasty words? I owe you a great deal, Miss Sala. I cannot forget that. Nor can I. When I saved your life, you did not doubt my friendship. Don't doubt it now. Come, we're about to drink a toast. Come! <laughs> the only sanity in an insane world, the loyalty of friends. Judah. Let us vow to be true to one another. With all my heart. There. Now that we have made our covenant, I shall test it. I want your help, Judah. You shall have it, if it's within my power. It is. You're young, but you have influence beyond your years. You inherited your father's place in the Sanhedrin. And even the elders in your council respect your voice. Judah, persuade them that this resistance to Rome is stupid and futile and can only end in bloodshed and suffering for your people. I have already spoken against violence, Miss Sala. I'll do so again. But I'm afraid there are some I can never convince. Who are they, Judah? Yes, Judah, who are they? Among the men who prey on men, the worst is the informer. Oh. Former is a patriot when he saves his own people. These few violent men would destroy your people. They'll bring down Roman swords on all of you. Is it not better then that the few be removed so that the many can live in peace? You can save your people. You can help weed out these maniacs who defy the emperor. You, better than anyone. Judah, you inherited more than a seat in the Sanhedrin from your father. You inherited an empire of commerce. You have warehouses, banks, caravans all over the Eastern world. Your ships sail from Alexandria to Antioch. Judah, let your empire of commerce serve Caesar's empire. You can be my eyes and ears. We can go forward hand in hand. There's no limit to where we can go. And one day, we'll sit next to Caesar and help him rule his troubled world. 
The future is for those who are strong enough to take it. We must be strong, Judah. You are not speaking of strength, but of treachery and viciousness. Don't be a fool. Are the lives of a few Jews so dear to you? What they believe in is dear to me. I'm against violence, Messala, but I believe in the past of my people and in their future. What future? You're a conquered people. You have no future. You have conquered the land and the bodies of a nation. But you haven't conquered our minds or our spirits. A speech worthy of the high priest himself. You cling to a tree that is dead. You walk in a circle around your memory of the past, like a donkey plodding around a water wheel. Wake up, Judah. The glory of Solomon is gone. Do you think it will come again? Do you think a warrior king will spring up out of the fire to save you? No, Judah, the mighty have fallen. Moses is dead. Joshua will not rise again to save you, nor David. You look to the west, Judah. Look to Rome. I thought my friend has been to Rome. But he has returned. I was wrong. We'll never be friends again. I'm sorry for you, Miss Ella. It will not be enough for you to be sorry for me, Judah. You are either for me or against me. Nothing else is possible. Then, I'm against you. Arise, Judah. Get up. 